hi guys thanks for joining me if you're new to my channel welcome 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 my name is Anne, and on my channel i review foreign international content today i'm back to review king the land and we're in episode 11 and 12. and oh my goodness did things just get serious is there trouble in paradise oh my it's almost like she just realized like this whole classism thing is it gonna work out I mean, she's the help. He's the son of the boss. And here is his dad almost arranging a marriage. And here she's serving them. Which, by the way, I believe it was the sister, the evil stepsister, who probably assigned her to that dream team so that she can see it. Because she knows how to get to little brother it's through her, right? I bet you she found out that they're dating. Because remember, she asked him, oh, you use a helicopter to go save her. Is she just an employee or what is she to you, right? And then Mr. No over there was asked to help, which I still feel like he's probably still um, loyal to Mr. Gu. But I'm not sure if he's just there to collect information. Um, I hope he doesn't get to influence by the sister, but I have a feeling the sister has something to do with why she's here and wanted to hurt her and kind of like break up his relationship. That's the angle the stepsister is taking. That's my thinking. What do you think, right? That's what's going on. Uh, but let's go to episode 11. I thought it was really good. I'm loving that this show has finally made a turn and now we're being serious. Okay, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love the whole lovey-dovey although they are overdoing it, but I'm glad 11 and 12 was just enough and perfect without too much, which is great. We're down to being serious now. I love that he used that whole 100th anniversary to honor the employees that make the King Hotel what it is. Like that one guy who's worked there for like, I don't know, 30 years, okay? He's a bellman. He's always greeting everybody. He knows everything. The story about the tree and who planted that tree. And it turns out that the father of, um, of the man who planted that tree helped Mr. Gu when he was first starting the hotel. And just the stories were incredible. And I just loved how the VIPs who want all the attention were not getting the attention. Like that one guy who's so rude. I'm so glad he was told bye-bye. Get out of here. Goodbye. So that was so good to see. I, I'm loving where we are at. And then obviously episode 12. I'm glad that she went and found that lady who, by the way, you could tell she's old school. She was taught the old way of doing things like, why would you walk in here with your shoes on? Like, don't you know, like the basics, right? That lady is so cutthroat. But she knew Mr. Gu's mom who we all been told is that she left. I'm starting to get the feeling that Mr. Gu's mother was a worker and maybe same thing. His dad must have fallen in love with her and they have a child. And because she can't keep up with this whole status and classes, she was like, I'm probably better off leaving and going away. And she went and talked to the other lady that used to work with her, got um, her picture and gave it to Mr. Gu to say, look, don't waste your time. Don't be like me. I never got a chance with my parents. You know, you need to uh, make sure you follow up and see if you can find your mom, I think is where we're going with this. But I am so loving it. So it'll be interesting to see because even the preview, uh, in the next preview, she's like, no, I need to make the decision about my life because now reality has just hit like, we are in two different worlds. And we're not the same. Although we love each other, we're not the same. So I'm like, wow, things just got serious here, right? It just went crazy. And the part where her friends found out that they were dating, that was hilarious. I loved it so much. It was so funny. And that one, one friend of hers, she needs to have a discussion with her husband. They are so lazy. It's driving me up the wall. And then the other one, the flight attendant one, so the big secret was because she accidentally filled up paperwork with this one guy that they were married, but really they were not married. So they couldn't annul 
the marriage so it was easier to just file for a divorce so now she's considered a divorcee and apparently that affects your work i'm like it's 2023 there's so many people who are divorced out there it's no longer a big deal this is not the 1900s where i used to be like oh you're divorced what if you're gay i mean my goodness how would that affect your work i'm like wow i hope that's not a reflection of korea um culture like do they still judge you for being divorced in korea in 2023 crazy anyway what are you thinking i'm just loving that we got serious and it seems like there's a good balance now between the romance and what's going on so it'd be interesting to see what she decides i hope she doesn't end up walking away like his mom did because let's be honest the whole classism thing is not easy and his sister is not gonna make it easy at all who by the way the husband is like i want the divorce sign now i'm not waiting anymore she's so mean to her son her son came to see her and she's like why are you bothering me i told you not to come and the poor boy the way he walked away so sad crazy anyway let me know in the comment section what you're thinking um and what she'll do i'm thinking i mean i think in the end love wins but it'll be interesting to see how they navigate the whole you know classism thing that would be interesting to see uh, but join me next week uh, as we review 13 and 14 and as usual if you like my video give me a like subscribe it does help to support my channel and i'll see you next week deuces